So the next talk is by Dmitry Kalashnikov from MIPT. Yes. Uh, about the Galstinus at Fuzzer. Uh, then I'll start. Uh, my uh, speak here is dedicated to presenting uh, a parameter space uh, of some uh, supersymmetry model uh, that can be probed at Fuzzer. A uh, few words about uh, supersymmetry, supersymmetry it's, uh, itself. Uh, at some point uh, in any supersymmetry model, it uh, is uh, broken uh, spontaneously and um, it uh, gives birth to Goldstone particles uh, that can um, interact with the uh, standard model uh, particles. And therefore they can be found at uh, experiments. Uh, such experiments takes place at uh, LHC and uh, in particular experiment Fuzzer. Uh, it is uh, specifically designed for searches, uh, for, uh, for these searches. It is a far forward, um, far forward detector. Uh, it is placed uh, almost 500 meters uh, uh, from uh, Atlas interaction point. Uh, so as you can see at uh, this picture, it uh, consists of a few, uh, many layers that um, are designed for uh, veto some uh, background particles. In fact, uh, at this experiment, uh, background levels are almost negligible. Uh, then uh, we have a, a decay volume and the sp uh, spectrometer and colorimeter, which allow us to detect uh, standard model particles. Uh, there will be two stages with Pfizer, Pfizer 1, uh, uh, which, is the, which will take place at uh, LHC run 3, and uh, Pfizer 2, which will take place at uh, high luminosity LHC. And uh, Pfizer 2 is a, a bigger version of Pfizer 1 uh, with bigger decay volume. Uh, as I said, it, uh, it is located far from uh, interaction points, so its main goal is to find uh, uh, long lived uh, weakly interacting uh, particles uh, and uh, such uh, and in uh, our Goldstein model is uh, uh, consi consists of uh, these uh, particles in general it uh, this model described by uh, mass of uh, this particle supersymmetry uh, breaking parameter and other uh, soft parameters which uh, uh, for example is a uh, mass uh, these parameters constrain by uh, general particles uh, at Pfizer are direct proton-proton uh, uh, scattering and uh, meson decay. And interesting decay modes are uh, d-photon, d-lipton, and uh, d-meson decays. Uh, so a uh, few words about uh, the theory itself. Um, in any supersymmetry model, uh, uh, supersymmetry is broken and uh, interactions uh, are described by uh, goldberger tayman formula. Uh, which couples uh, supercurrent to the particles with the factor uh, uh, with the supersymmetry scale parameter in the denominator. Uh, um, the current could be, could be characterized by uh, a mass parameter uh, delta m and it, typically it is um, a mass split between uh, superpartners. Uh, uh, in general, uh, these uh, super partners are much heavier than uh, known particles, so we can write uh, not uh, this uh, split parameter, but just uh, super partners mass. And for example, I here present uh, uh, interaction, a vertex that describes interactions uh, between Galstina and the pair of photons. Uh, in my work, I uh, consider a simple case in simple model when uh, only one chiral superfield uh, gains non um, uh, breaks uh, supersymmetry. Uh, after that, we have um, uh, Goldstone fermion and uh, scalar, uh, scalar and pseudoscalar Goldstinus. Uh, this is Goldstinus uh, are even, so in uh, they can decay into a pair of uh, standard model particles and uh, be produced in, a, in the scattering uh, of two standard model particles. Uh, so, uh, Scalcina sources. Uh, first one, uh, proton-proton scattering, is uh, governed by um, gluon fission. 
this uh, vertex uh, described by um, Glee in the math. And uh, in our work, uh, I uh, calculated this um, uh, scattering by uh, using uh, Compher package. Uh, there I uh, calculated uh, uh, cross-section at a different uh, point of mass. Then I um, extrapolated them in the region of low, lower mass. And then, because uh, 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 I need to change uh, soft parameters, uh, I uh, calculated again uh, with uh, considering, uh, well, in Comhep, I, in Comhep, I calculated them with the uh, uh, spe uh, specific uh, values of these parameters, but I had to calculate uh, them with other parameters, so I uh, recalculate them and then get uh, effective uh, cross section. The other source is uh, meson decay. Relevant uh, uh, mesons are B meson, D, K, and eta mesons. Uh, production of uh, K and eta mesons. Uh, uh, I, I got them from um, CRMC package with the EPOS LHC event generator and uh, uh, data for uh, Bayer and Demison uh, production I got from uh, LHCB experiments and he uh, uh, cite the uh, corresponding articles. Uh, so uh, two process uh, uh, can uh, give us uh, sgolstinus from meson decays. It, first one is a flavor conserving uh, decay. Uh, it uh, goes through uh, quark uh, loop or through uh, uh, Higgs mixing. The other one is a flavor violating. Uh, it, uh, uh, it happens because of a non-zero, uh, uh, non-diagonal uh, mass uh, quark masses. Uh, decays. Um, uh, here I consider three type of decays. First one is a photon decay, uh, which is governed by photino mass. Uh, as actually, as we can see later, it is uh, uh, the most uh, promising decay in the area of uh, low mass, low Gostino mass. Second one is a lepton decay, which is governed by trilinear uh, lepton constant and uh, meson decay uh, that is governed by uh, uh, Gleena mass and uh, quark uh, uh, constant. Uh, so uh, let's take a little uh, stop here. Uh, for more information about Golstina and Pfizer, uh, there are, you can see other works. For example, there are already predictions for Golstina production at ship experiment. Uh, there are predictions at uh, Fuzzer, but not for Zgostina for uh, um, dark photons, but uh, well, uh, on Pfizer there will be more information in the next talk. So uh, let's move to the results. It's, uh, results. Uh, it, uh, because uh, uh, we have a particular situation here, if uh, all the soft uh, parameters are equal to each other, uh, GP1 decay uh, is uh, much uh, larger than other decays. So it is uh, convenient to choose uh, two uh, cases uh, in, uh, with Galcina mass. One case is when uh, it is uh, lesser than uh, two P1 masses. So we don't have to uh, specifically uh, choose parameters, and the one uh, second one is uh, when uh, P1 decay is kinematically possible. So, um, uh, this uh, here at this slide, I present you the result of my calculations on um, soft parameter spaces at the phase two. Uh, phase two is, uh, is, is a more uh, perspective, so it is our main focus. As you can see, um, a variety of parameters that can be probed at Pfizer uh, to uh, at Pfizer at uh, lower mass are much uh, uh, bigger than at uh, with uh, uh, masses uh, above the beyond threshold. Uh, it happens because of uh, uh, that in uh, this section I uh, try to choose parameters uh, in such a way that the photon decay is dominant. So uh, I have uh, to I had to make uh, Fatina mass very big, uh, much larger than Gleena mass. Um, for better, 
sorry, uh, for better understanding, I should say that um, not any combination of these parameters in these boundaries could be probed at Pfizer. Uh, you can choose only uh, you can choose one of these parameters in this uh, uh, in this area, and uh, there will be some combination of other parameters that can be probed. But uh, well, when you fix some of these parameters, other boundaries get uh, get smaller. Uh, for better understanding, uh, I present here some um, uh, pictures with uh, fixed uh, soft parameters. As you can see, uh, when we uh, get, uh, take uh, fatina mass larger, uh, since, uh, this uh, sef sensitive part uh, of uh, parameter space getting uh, higher in uh, at uh, square root of f mat uh, axis and uh, uh, getting uh, left uh, in the uh, area of lower mass. That uh, happens because uh, we have to uh, we have to make uh, decay length of Goldstina uh, constant. So uh, when we get in uh, soft parameter up, uh, we have to lower the mass or get in uh, supersymmetry breaking parameter higher for sake of uh, uh, Decay length. Uh, this I present you gluon fission. Gluon fission is actually, uh, as I said, it's a, a most promising uh, source of Goldstina in the area with low mass, but it uh, doesn't contribute uh, in the area of uh, uh, with uh, to this Goldstina with the masses above uh, peon threshold, because um, uh, both because uh, peon decay and uh, direct production of Goldstina, both governed by uh, glee NMS. And uh, uh, if we make glee NMS large enough, then uh, we have big proton-proton uh, scattering in Goldstina, but uh, uh, width of peon uh, decay get, uh, gets uh, very large and the uh, decay length uh, small. So the next uh, source is a uh, flavor conserving um, decay, meson decay. For example, uh, here present uh, atom meson decay. Uh, it is a, a promising uh, uh, source uh, in the area of uh, with low uh, square root of uh, f, because uh, uh, with larger f it gets uh, 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 very uh, very small, and we can cannot uh, um, uh, compensate uh, this uh, by. Uh, uh, by getting a uh, quark trillion construct bigger because um, uh, it is the most, the biggest contribution to the meson decay is through Higgs mechanism at lower uh, F. And uh, there could be at least, there must be a coup, must be at least uh, 10th F. So it could uh, compete with uh, Higgs mixing. And the uh, uh, last, uh, uh, source of Gostin is a uh, flavor conserving meson decay. Uh, as you can see here, uh, I present um, area uh, uh, masses above peon threshold because uh, um, with the decays, uh, with the meson decays, uh, they are mostly uh, contribute uh, in this area of mass uh, because uh, the gluon fusion uh, contributes in the area of lower masses. Uh, so, as you can see here, uh, uh, getting uh, soft parameters bigger, we can uh, we just uh, move our sensitive uh, space uh, higher in an axis of uh, supersymmetry breaking scale. Uh, and uh, uh, as uh, uh, as we can see that uh, these uh, parameters that. Uh, contribute to production of Sgolstina, just getting this uh, area bigger. And uh, this parameter uh, who contributes to uh, decay of Sgolstina moves uh, a sensitive area uh, on uh, this axis. Uh, uh, flavor uh, violating decays, uh, they, uh, can, if you consider a model with the flavor violating, uh, there can be flavor violating decays, which contributes in the space with a bigger square root of F. 
because uh, uh, branching radius of uh, mesons are quite large uh, in this uh, model. So we have to, uh, so in, in uh, with, so we have to move uh, far uh, at the supersymmetry scale. Uh, situation on the soft parameters here are the same, uh, getting uh, more, uh, taking bigger uh, soft parameters, we get um, uh, a bigger at uh, this, uh, getting uh, f further at uh, uh, supersymmetry scale. And uh, as you can see, there is uh, uh, some threshold on uh, square root of f. Uh, this comes from uh, experimental limits on uh, meson decay. Uh, here present as well uh, decays into in a larger space of larger space of uh, skill mass. And in, in fact, uh, uh, in uh, this area of mass, uh, the main source of skill uh, the most promising one, is uh, bemison decay. Because uh, the other mesons are well, well quite uh, light. Um, uh, let's uh, talk about phaser one. As you can see, here we can uh, uh, the uh, sensitive uh, area of uh, phaser is restricted by uh, uh, two masses of kion. Uh, so. Um, and it uh, has a bigger, um, um, stronger boundaries on uh, supersymmetry breaking scale. Uh, as you can see, actually, that the upper boundaries on the soft parameters are uh, uh, supersymmetry breaking the parameter itself. So we can say that uh, uh, this is the uh, most important parameter in uh, these times. Uh, situation here uh, it uh, is uh, quite similar to the phaser two uh, because uh, in phaser one we just have uh, less sgolstina, less uh, mesons. So uh, the mechanics of uh, this uh, area are the same. When we getting one parameter bigger, other should get in smaller in order to save uh, to. To preserve uh, decay length. Um, so let's move. Ah, yes, uh, here also is a, a very small area of uh, larger mass uh, for Sgostino, larger than uh, uh, two pions for decays, for decays into photons. Uh, as you can, it is governed, it is uh, possible to find Sgostina in a uh, very, uh, uh, very thin area of um, soft parameters uh, by uh, through flavor violating meson decays, atomizon decays, only atomizons. Uh, as you can see, here I had to place, uh, had to take uh, Fatina mass uh, the, as maximum as I can. So uh, in every point, every point with different f, uh, Fatina mass uh, is taken uh, the same. Uh, let's uh, move to the Lipton decays. Uh, they are mainly restricted, uh, uh, bound by uh, photon decays, because in the area of uh, small masses, photon decays dominate, and uh, Lipton decays could dominate only with a big enough uh, soft trillion uh, lifton constant. Uh, it has to be 20 times, uh, at least 20 times bigger than uh, uh, Fatina mass. But uh, that works only for muon decays. Uh, let's uh, talk a few words about uh, G electron decay. Uh, well, for this, de for this decay to, to dominate, uh, uh, this Lipton constant should be very big, and so, but uh, we have uh, restrictions on uh, square root of f. So uh, in the end, uh, there is very uh, thin area of uh, uh, Lipton constant in where which is where phaser could be sensitive to Sgostina. 
and uh, more to that, uh, electron production is dominant only in the very uh, with the very uh, small uh, Sgostina masses, smaller than the 50 mF. Uh, uh, and the uh, square root of f uh, should be larger than uh, 30 tf, so we could uh, take uh, our Lipton constant quite big, so this decay could dominate. But uh, with the larger masses uh, bef uh, below uh, muon threshold, uh, this uh, decay uh, could uh, contribute as well. With a big enough uh, Lipton constant, uh, it could compete with photon decay and has uh, the same can be the same order of uh, photon width. Uh, so uh, this uh, I present results for muon decay. Uh, it is uh, much bigger than uh, uh, the electron decay because of uh, muon is much uh, heavier. Uh, but uh, here I have a, a thin uh, area of uh, mass because uh, with mass uh, lower than that, uh, Scostino could not decay into a pair of meson, a pair of uh, muons, and uh, with the masses larger than that, it uh, uh, domin uh, the decay length of Scostino governed by uh, de meson decay. Uh, in uh, other things, uh, this decay I, are quite similar to photon decay. Uh, uh, as you can see here, uh, with the uh, uh, getting uh, with taking uh, M3 more, we uh, make this uh, area wider because it's uh, getting uh, proton scattering bigger. And with uh, taking uh, soft parameters bigger, this area moves uh, up. So I have uh, not so much time. So I, uh, as, as I said before, this. Uh, uh, decay mode to lepton are quite similar to photons. Uh, it just uh, has uh, more boundaries on mass because uh, 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 of uh, electron and uh, muon mass. And uh, uh, because of uh, that, uh, the lepton decay is uh, much weaker than uh, meson and or photon decay. Um, yes, in uh, area with uh, masses. Uh, bigger than uh, two pion mass, uh, there's two possible to find the uh, Sgostino through Lipton decay. Uh, as you here, here you can see soft parameter space where it can be done, but as uh, well, uh, they, I, uh, we have to place, uh, we have to take uh, this soft linear uh, parameter very large. Uh, for Pfizer 1, situation is uh, uh, even worse. Uh, soft parameter space uh, is uh, uh, bound by uh, 100 f only 100 f for example in the photon case there would be uh, almost a thousand f with lifton we have the, uh, here similar situations so I, I wouldn't stop don't stop here uh, well at the other decays uh, as well because um, moving from phaser two to, to phaser one we just uh, 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 getting less uh, less uh, less as Goldstein. Uh, and uh, in the end, uh, meson decay. Well, it is uh, uh, main uh, source of uh, main source of signals in the uh, area with largest masses. As you can see, uh, boundaries uh, by uh, on uh, square root of f is uh, quite large, and uh, we have only a few parameters here to manage because. Uh, uh, in general, uh, uh, the meson decay is the dominant one. Uh, the most uh, the mo uh, most promising source of Galstina here is a uh, meson decay. Uh, this is a flavor conserving decay. Uh, as you can see, in uh, it is uh, contributed mostly in uh, area with masses above uh, masses uh, lesser than uh, a few uh, two or uh, one and a half gaf. Uh, and uh, here, uh, this uh, decay comes through uh, quark loop because I put uh, quark trilinear constant uh, large enough for that. And the uh, decay into uh, mesons is governed by Gluina mass. 
uh, flavor valenting uh, meson decay uh, contribute in the area of for larger masses. As you can see here, uh, moving, uh, taking soft parameters uh, larger, we uh, move into the area of uh, lesser mass, and in the end, we'll get we'll get picture similar to that. Uh, it, with uh, phaser one, well. Uh, this uh, only one uh, meson contributes uh, in uh, uh, could to be for only meson decay only at a meson decay phaser could be sensitive it uh, uh, it gives us boundaries uh, upper boundaries on uh, Gostina mass as you can see here a few hundred gaps is a boundary on the, at uh, supersymmetry breaking scale and uh, this uh, we have. Uh, area of, uh, of which, where uh, phaser could be sensitive. So what we have in the end, uh, that um, we have that most promising uh, Zgolstina mass is uh, must be uh, is, uh, 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 is under TPO on, uh, is under P on threshold. Uh, there, because there can, uh, we can uh, Zgolstina uh, in Zgostina production in that area uh, mostly uh, comes from proton-proton uh, scattering, which can give us a lot of uh, Zgostina and uh, a lot of and a big variety of soft parameters. Uh, decaying in photos in photons, uh, the most promising there, but it has uh, problems uh, because we had uh, we need to. Uh, these photons be both uh, recognized in the experiment uh, uh, as we at uh, energy of uh, this uh, uh, this scattering is very big so uh, this Gostina is uh, uh, had uh, is very fast uh, moving so uh, uh, there may be a problem uh, with recognizing uh, these both photons uh, in this uh, case muons could be more promising but they give uh, stronger restrictions on Zgostina mass and in the area with uh, masses above beyond threshold main uh, uh, main signal comes from meson decays especially by meson uh, in uh, other and we uh, had to say that uh, uh, electron the electron production the electron channel is always open but is uh, it is suppressed by uh, electron mass, but with large enough trilinear constant could uh, contribute to the signal at Pfizer. So thank you very much. Thank you. So questions? Yes, uh, Jonathan, please. Thanks for this uh, really interesting talk. I had a Several questions actually, but maybe first just the theoretical model. So the you know, standard supersymmetry, the Goldstino mass is determined by its coupling also, right? They're both functions of F. Um, this Goldstino is split from the Goldstino, I guess, by Suzy breaking or something. But I'm just trying to understand if it's really correct to just assume they're all parameterized by different parameters, free parameters. Sorry, you mean the mass? I mean, yeah, all that... the parameters are the same except the mass, but they are scalars. I mean, if you look mm. at the, well, uh, I mean, classical uh, classical models like Oriferty or Fayeliopoulos where you have the supersymmetry breaking, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, then at the tree level, uh, both uh, uh, you know fermion part and uh, scalar part are massless. I mean, uh, Goldstone's fermion. We have Goldstone. We, we have the, as a Goldstone field here in supersymmetry. We have fermion. Okay, the fermion mm -hmm. is massless, and uh, this uh, uh, their super partners, this scalar and the scalar also uh, also massless. So, but mm -hmm. if you look at some kind of uh, you know, more realistic model because uh, in Oriferty and the fire levels, you have the problem with splitting. I mean, the super trace is uh, conserved mm. and yeah, you yeah. have, uh, you know, light, light, light 
super partners, we, you already uh, have not. So. Mm -hmm. uh, but then if you look at the more, uh, you know, realistic models, like with the models with hypergravity or something else, then uh, again, at the three level, you have no mass, but then depending on the model, I mean, uh, on, on, on the particular model where you have the violation of supersymmetry, they can obtain mass. I mean, this, uh, uh, this color parts, they are not protected by symmetry. Their mass mm -hmm. are not protected by symmetry, okay? Uh, and then it depends on the, on the model. Say in the case of uh, low scale supersymmetry, they, they are almost massless, for example, okay? But it's mm -hmm. model dependent. So that's why uh, here is the free, uh, the, the math of this uh, particles are free, okay? It, uh, it depends so on, the, on, the, on the whole model where you violate supersymmetry. Yeah, but for example, when, when F is in the range of interest here, something like, uh, you know, I don't know, TeV, 100 TeV, the Goldstino is, um, mass is fixed, right? It's something like, I don't know, 100 EV or something. Is yeah. that right? Okay. It's, yeah, it's like uh, uh, F uh, divided by Planck scale. Uh, yes, in, yes. In the, I mean, well, there, okay. are, there, are, there, are, there are other models, but, but, but uh, usually it's of this type, yeah, of this scale. True. Okay, but but the point is that the Goldstino, the scalar Goldstino, which you're looking at, is separated from the Goldstino mass by some other effects, and so you take it as a free parameter. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're not uh -huh. protected by you know. Here is uh, this scale, the, the mass of this. I mean, Goldstein is eaten by uh, gravitin and becomes the only Newtonian component of gravitin. So this mass is a right. gravitin. Uh, but in case of uh, Goldstein, uh, they have no. I mean. Uh, they, they they get masses through the loops through the, mm -hmm. through the quantum corrections. Okay, so okay, okay, interesting. That's why it's free. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so maybe I can just say mm -hmm. right, right. I mean, just say one thing on the completely opposite end of the uh, so not theory but experiment. I just wanted to let you know. So I believe you're saying that the photon photon signal is of primary interest for phaser. And you need to be able to distinguish the two photons. That was in the conclusions, right? Yes. Yes. So one uh, interesting thing is that um, we're actually now just um, recently we're funded to install uh, a pre-shower in front of the calorimeter. So it, it's exactly as you say, you know, photons, of course, aren't bent in the magnetic field. And so they're very, very collimated. And so you have a question, how can you tell one photon from two photons? We're actually now... Um, planning to install probably in two years a uh, pre-shower, which will basically um, increase the precision on knowing where the photons are down to roughly 100 microns. So extremely precise. And so typical, um, you know, TeV particles, which are split by MeVPT, um, will be able to be distinguished um, in that with that pre-shower detector. So it, it's actually a well, your your model is very much uh, making use of this uh, experimental development we've just had. Okay, thank you. So, uh, are there more, more questions? If not.